Well, well good day family pastor jamal here rising ground church um i'm gonna jump right in i don't know how this is gonna go but i want to talk about it anyway so um i always love the scripture psalm 16 11 in the presence of god there is the fullness of, of joy in in the presence of god there is the fullness of joy how do you how do you really 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 access the fullness of joy as it says you know being in the presence of god how can you truly truly access the fullness of joy by being in the presence of god um man the bible has so many layers to it man god's understanding god's ways have so many layers there's so much that can cloud us out man from really understanding or be just being able to receive deeper revelation because i'll tell you this you guys got to get this um revelation literally comes in layers you can have the same cake but it, it has 15 layers um and god is deeper and wider than that so you have experiences that take you uh to one layer and then you know when you surrender when you when you allow god uh, to, to move you you go to you go deeper you go deeper you go deeper you go deeper so how do you really access that level of joy and power and strength of the fullness of joy that means there's nothing missing how can you truly 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 um you know touch that and i think i think the only way you can truly touch that level of joy is you have to embrace you have to embrace literally where God is. Where does God dwell? Where, where does God reside? You know, we'll, we'll say all day long, the spirit of God is in me because that's what God says. We hear those words. We hear the statement. But it's only when you truly, truly grasp it and you truly, truly see it, the revelation comes. That's when the door starts to crack open. Um, and the other side is the fullness of joy. The, and I'm not talking about death. I'm not talking about dying and going to heaven. I'm talking about literally having a revelation that God literally dwells in you. God is in you. God is at the helm of your everything. Again, God, you are the tabernacle that carries God. Think about that. You are the tabernacle that carries God. You're carrying God. What should your life look like? What should your life be? And you know, you guys know me. These are my messages. I like to talk. I don't preach and I don't do all that kind of stuff. I just I have to have a conversation. I have to lay things out the way that I do because that's how I like to understand. That's how I get it. So I can only give how I receive, right? But how, think about it, man. I mean, think about that. The fullness of joy is only received in the presence of God. In the presence of God, there is the fullness of joy. So in order for us to have a, a really transformative experience, we're going to have to meditate and we're going to have to sink deeper into what that really looks like for us. What does it mean? What does it look like to know that God is a part of you? God is in you. God is a part of you. God, like God is the, what is it? He's the, um, the clay maker. So again, he's, he is always pointing to God being at the forefront of everything that you are. You just got to allow it. And I, I mean, to tell you the truth, I don't know how it works. Uh, it, it's, it's a mystery, right? It's a mystery that, that the, the, the God, the master, he lives in and he lives out. You know, he lives within you and he lives outside of you. And he's the total control and the total power, but yet he lets you, he lets this physical thing have, it, have its way. I mean, it's crazy, but nonetheless, we have to start to embrace this truth and this understanding, man, because this is one of the key things that, that it has um, kept us from truly truly knowing and embracing who we are truly walking out what it is that god has given us to walk out in the, in this earth you know in the ways that we are to walk it out you know what i mean i think about that scripture um the kingdom of heaven is like 
I think it says uh, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who found a pearl in, in a field. He went and sold all he had and brought the field. I would read that. And I read it and, you know, you always have these preconceived ideas about these scriptures, you know, when you're when you're coming into the faith and you're coming into the understanding of God, which blocks the truth from really spilling over out, you know, into, you know, in you. Right. So. I was like, what is that? What are you talking about? I mean, what, what does that really look like? And the truth is, when you realize that God literally is everywhere you step. God is everywhere. God is in, he's, he, he's in the mountains in Africa. You know, there are, there is a lot of wealth found in a lot of different countries in places that don't look wealthy. So literally you can, you can be walking on concrete and just beneath your feet, there are diamonds and, and, and gold. Why is that there? Why do you think that's there? What symbolism is God giving us through a natural, uh, a, a natural thing, a natural occurrence, a natural experience like diamonds and gold and silver and all those kind of things, you're walking on it and you don't even know it. God is letting you know that he's so close. He's very, very, very I mean, I always say it all the time and the Bible says, he, I mean, he's closer than your brother, he's closer than your breath. God is that close to you. But when you don't recognize the pearl in your field, you will walk on it forever in poverty, in lack and limitation, in, in mental illness, you know, and, and all of these these different things. You will walk on your victory and not even know it because you didn't know how close God was and what that means and looks like for your life. So you have to we have to start embracing and adopting and understanding and meditating on this idea that God literally is this close and all he wants to do is is have the control um to run his life you know what i mean because you are his right that's that's the control that god wants but he's not going to force it and man just imagine that superpower is right at your fingertips and you don't even know it you don't even know it so that's all i got family pastor jamal rising ground church uh make it make sense man make it make sense because it makes sense I'll talk to you. Peace.